A student said she often hears that investment-linked assurance schemes involve many fees and charges. What are these charges? Let's look at how the calculations are done. First, we'll look at the platform fee. With some plans, a platform fee of a certain percentage is deducted from each premium you pay, which means the balance that remains for investment purposes would be lower. Some insurance plans redeem a portion of the value of the investment choice and deduct an amount from the account value as the policy management fee, which has the effect of reducing the number of fund units held by the policy. There are also plans that stipulate that the insurance company will regularly deduct the cost of insurance protection from the account value for the purpose of accumulating the death benefit. The cost of insurance protection is the net amount at risk multiplied by the cost of insurance protection rate, while the net amount at risk is the difference between the total sum insured and the account value. One thing to keep in mind, the cost of insurance protection might significantly increase as a result of investment losses. For example, if your sum insured is 1 million Hong Kong dollars and your account value is 800,000 Hong Kong dollars, then the net amount at risk is 200,000 Hong Kong dollars. If the cost of insurance protection rate is 0.1% per annum, then you'll be paying 200 Hong Kong dollars a year. If the market falls, however, and the account value is reduced to 300,000 Hong Kong dollars, then the net amount at risk becomes 700,000 Hong Kong dollars, and the yearly cost of insurance protection charge will be 700 Hong Kong dollars. Generally speaking, as the life insured grows older, the charges will also increase gradually. While you can choose to make a partial withdrawal or surrender the policy early, it would incur a fee under some plans, and as a result, the sum you recover may be less than the premium you've paid. In addition, there is a fund management fee. This is not charged by the insurance company, but by the company that manages the underlying investment fund and is reflected in the fund's unit price. Want to compare different plans and see which one charges more? You can refer to each insurance company's total fees and charges disclosure. Insurance companies use hypothetical scenarios to work out a TFCD, which shows the percentages of premiums represented by total charges over 10, 15 and 20 years. Under existing relevant rules and regulations, insurance companies are required to disclose the relevant percentages in their TFCD, so the public can review charges. Now you have a good understanding of the fees and charges, but there are other factors to consider. More in the next lecture.